Trailblazers, the inaugural school year at Patel High is almost at an end. As a community, we covered a great deal and have a lot to be proud of. Before we close out our semester, it is important to look toward final tests and keeping up with good habits. Hey guys, my name is Bobby. My name is Carolyn. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Glenn Morning. My name is Ann Miller. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of a healthcare organization called the Lung Health Institute. I am the owner of an online store called neighborhoodies.shop. And I own Carolyn Allen Photography. I'm a local wedding photographer here in the Tampa area. And due to COVID-19, I cannot shoot weddings at this point. And I'm an author, educator, and entrepreneur in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're based out of St. Petersburg, Florida, but we make neighborhood gear for little neighborhoods around the Tampa Bay, uh, St. Pete, Sarasota area, so people can kind of show off their neighborhood and where they live. But I wanted to get with you guys today to talk about how COVID-19 has affected everyone out there from uh, me, to you, to your peers, to your teachers. It's totally changed the world. That's put me between a rock and a hard place because I'm not able to do what I do for a living to earn income. So just like you guys um, in school right now, your job is to go to school every day, continue learning, work towards a higher goal, um, hopefully, you know, go to college, whatever's kind of in your path. And that's been taken away from you as well. All of our lives have changed. So my work environment, my child's school environment, my family's social environment, even our eating habits. So my family has been very fortunate though and not seen tragic loss of family members, jobs, or our home. So we've done our best to maintain perspective that although our lives and routines have been significantly disrupted, it's not all bad. What hasn't been affected are things that are within your control. So self-accountability and whether you choose to communicate and how you engage and inter interact with others. Um, naturally, as a writer, um, I have been reflecting like crazy, like never before. Um, initially, when the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic started off, I found myself in a really low place. Uh, because I immediately realized that the social distancing or what you would refer to as perhaps a stay at home act or, you know, being quarantined, I, I, I knew that that was going to be the case. And, you know, as someone who thrives off of speaking to kids, traveling around the country as a motivational speaker, um, being a classroom teacher in general, um, a part of what I do and my purpose is being able to connect with large crowds. Um, so right away, I was already just kind of in a space like, okay, how am I going to continue doing what I do? How will I ever be able to, you know, get back to doing what I love doing? And um, I realized two things that the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic would either, you know, restrict you and you would actually really feel those limitations or it would force you to try to be as creative as possible um, and, you know, maximizing your opportunities to continue doing what you love doing. So that's what today is about. I want to I want to talk about two things. One, I want to challenge you to be a better student than you were before all this craziness started. And two, I want to talk about how you can take this time to invest in yourself. So personally, I've taken advantage of the extra hours normally spent on commuting and getting my child ready each day to form a better, healthier habit with no excuses not to exercise first thing in the morning. I think many adults until now have really taken for granted just what an amazing job our teachers did educating us pre-college. Uh, even for my five-year-old, virtual learning has been so wonderful for the parents because as it turns out, I have no idea how to teach my child how to read or write. So the fundamentals that are going to propel him into great opportunities in this lifetime, I didn't pick up the skill <laughs> on how to actually teach it. So if we can't replicate our lives without a traditional setting that we're so used to, I think a lot of us are left asking ourselves, what do you do or how do you do it? So I would say embrace disruption and the good of what you can because now's the time to take advantage of stepping out of your comfort zone. And when you do that, you're gonna find out two very important things. One thing is that you're going to love what you find in yourself or completely dislike in what you find 
uh, when you do. And that's the opportunity to form a better habit or really take advantage and learning something about yourself that you never even thought was possible. And even more so, now's the time where it's never been a safer environment to really step outside your comfort zone. So many of us are trying so many new things and trying to create and work together to form a new normal that now's the time to speak up and offer suggestions and not be scared of the feedback because it's, it's welcome and we're listening. And the second thing that you'll find and, and learn is that you should not chase all your dreams at once. So keep something that you can constant. Keeping a schedule and continuing to learn should be the one constant that you can rely on during this time. Your teachers are there to support you. Hopefully your family members are there to support you, your, uh, the faculty. So it may be a little different way to learn, but just enjoy that you are all finding new and different ways to interact and learn together. And this could be a great opportunity where maybe your teacher sees you in a different and more positive light. So we're all having to adjust in some way uh, this kind of new normal, trying to figure out how we're gonna navigate life. For me, I'm trying to focus on the things not that I can't do, but what I still can do within my business. So I can't physically go out and shoot people's weddings, but what I can do is work on the internal structures of my business that I might not have time for day to day because I'm too busy um, emailing clients, editing photos, so on and so forth. So I've been working on, let's say Instagram, building my brand that's really strong for me to establish my brand and have my clients and future clients know this is who I am and what I represent. So creating a structure for yourself is so important. What, each day maybe set one small goal for yourself to accomplish. Maybe create a minimal structure for you to follow because I know structure is so important to you know feeling like yourself again. And so while you guys are distance learning, I know it can probably be really hard to like why am like why should I do this? This is getting you know boring. But you're still on the same path, right? This will end soon. Soon we will go back to normal. Soon you guys will go back to school. And instead of wasting the time that we have right now, we should be putting it into effect. Like we don't wanna, you guys don't wanna stop right now and pause and be like, oh, guess what? You're gonna redo that grade because you decided, you know, we, we, this is like a weird time, we shouldn't keep learning. But I feel like that sense of normalcy is really important. And so to continue learning and to continue working on towards the goals that you're, you've been working towards, maybe that's college, maybe that's a career you want in the future, anything like that still should be so important to you um but i can only imagine that if you are in high school right now with the whole world ahead of you um in terms of you know having goals and ambitions uh, my suggestion to all of you um is to continue dreaming is to continue to prepare for those moments that are going to come up in the future not to let what's happening right now stop you from continuing to prepare to become that person that you've always dreamed of becoming because your time is going to come. Your moment will continue to reveal itself um, as the world does what it does in terms of healing and getting through you know, a very challenging time. Um, you will also have the opportunity to fulfill your own dreams and destiny. You know, once all of this chaos starts to settle, um, there's no telling in terms of when there's no telling in terms of, you know what it'll look like but just know that that time will come when the world is going to rely on you to be your best self to be as creative as possible to be as resilient as possible and to just ultimately be you know the most dynamic person that you personally can become be the student who thrives during this time i know that's kind of difficult to say what does that mean um, i personally think that means having great routines, getting up, treating your day like a normal day. Um, and, and heck, I remember what it was like to be a student. Uh, I, I still kind of battle with it now. If you don't think I wake up and want to start my day with two hours of Netflix, then you're crazy because that's still something that I deal with. It's something that uh, you, you're going to deal with in high school, college, work, when you have kids down the line. It's always something you have to work on to push yourself to be better than you were the day before. 
uh, if I was in your shoes, I'd imagine it'd be pretty tempting uh, to want to sleep in until five minutes before uh, your class starts, or maybe procrastinate a little more on homework and, or see what you can get away with. Um, but I really strongly encourage you to push yourself to stick to your routines and make them better than they were before all this stuff started. You know, one of the greatest quotes that I always love is General Shinseki of the U.S. Army once said, if you don't like change, you're going to like irrelevance even less. So keep that in mind because this experience will help you shape your future and your role in life. Um, and so whether or not you're going through, you know, some of the tragedies that are coming out of this time or whether, you know, your life's just been a little bit disruptive, um, try to find some, some good and, and positive experience from it. So change is not always an easy transition to make and you're probably going to have to try a few different times. Um, I know I failed several times, but it's when I've always taken advantage to learn from those opportunities that really uh, and make them into opportunities that something great has always come out of it, uh, even if you don't think so at the time. But learn from your failure and, and really make that leap and, and try. So otherwise, you're going to miss out on all of the innovation that we can really learn from uh, this otherwise dark time. If you ever happen to feel down or low just imagine that you'll be able to use this story as evidence that you were able to get through something that a lot of people don't see themselves making it through so you'll be able to look back one day and you'll be able to say you know man during the 2020 pandemic you know i was going through x y and z i didn't necessarily feel as positive or as confident but i hung in there i stuck it out i became you know, as resilient as I could, I persisted through it. You know, lean on your friends, lean on your family members, um, be there for each other. Um, and ultimately, you know, we'll see it. We'll see ourselves through it. Um, but at the end of the day, we are a community of people and we need to continue to just love one another and support each other, you know, regardless of, you know, whether or not we're in DC, Florida, Cali, you know, we're all in this together. So look at it from the bright side. I know it's hard, but just give it a try, shifting your mindset, seeing what you've gained out of this instead of what you've lost. Positivity is key right now. And like I said, give yourself plenty of grace because not every day can be like that. But I know you guys are doing your best and you're the real MVPs. Keep chugging along and I'm wishing you all the best because this will be over one day and we will all get back to normal. So stay safe and stay sane. And I challenge you to be a better student right now than you were before all this craziness started. And two, with all this extra time on your hands, take some time to invest in yourself. So thank you for your time and everybody be well. Best of luck during all this. We'll get out of it soon and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys there. All right. The world will continue to go on and you guys are gonna be the reason why we come out stronger than we started. Peace.